Joel Rosenberg is the founder of the Joshua Fund. He's a Middle East expert, and he's also the best-selling author of 17 spy novels and four nonfiction books. Right now, he's entering a new field. He is going to be the host of the Rosenberg Report. It is a great new series shot in Israel, all about Israel and the Middle East, and it debuts on TBN right here on this network October the 6th. I talked to Joel recently about what viewers can expect from the Rosenberg Report. When Matt Crouch asked me to do the Rosenberg Report, he basically said, there's never been a show on network television, much less on TBN, that's originally a primetime show produced in Israel, in the Middle East every week, covering the big stories uh, affecting Israel and the Arab Muslim world, certainly of the Iran nuclear threat and the Russian-Iranian alliance and Bible prophecy and so many other issues. There's never been a show produced from here every week, prime time, would you do it? And I told him, Matt, you know, I have a face for radio. You know, I don't know, <laughs> questioning your judgment, why you would have me on television. So to be able to talk as a Jewish evangelical from Israel, an Israeli citizen, about the big issues here uh, to the American Christian world and elsewhere around the world, it, it's a very exciting opportunity. And there is no shortage of stories to cover. No one, Jewish, uh, evangelical, Atheist. Nobody has ever had the kind of access uh, to the capitals of that many governments in the Middle East. What's behind that? I can't really explain it. Um, it it's a, a sovereign decision by God to open up doors. I certainly have prayed for these leaders for years. Jesus commands me to love my neighbors. And some people say, well, those aren't your neighbors. They're your enemies. Well, I don't see them that way. But if, okay, Jesus said, love your enemies. So that pretty much covers everybody in this region. And um, I've been praying for them. And I have prayed for an open door. The Apostle Paul prayed, asked, asked believers to pray for open doors. He wanted to go see Caesar Nero. So I figured, well, you know, if he's praying to meet Caesar Nero, um, the least I can do is pray for the leaders in this region. Um so God has just sovereignly decided it. That didn't mean I thought I was going to end up, you know, running two news sites, all Israel news and all Arab news, much less start a weekly primetime television show. But I think God has uniquely positioned me. Um, he has his own sovereign reasons we'll find out in heaven someday. Um, but I think it'll help me explain to evangelicals what is going on not just here in Israel, although that's super important to me and I, and I think to most of your viewers, but in the Arab world, how do they see religious freedom? What's going on with the church? I want to tell not just the, the stories of the Iran nuclear threat and the Russian-Iranian alliance and the threats from other terrorist organizations and so forth. I want to tell the stories that 60 Minutes and CNN will never tell you, the, the big untold stories of how the church is growing in the Middle East. And so who are some of the, the heroes of the faith in this part of the world? Uh, one of the people we'll profile is the guy I call the Billy Graham of Iran. Uh, he was once a Shia Muslim uh, on the streets of Tehran in 1979 saying, death to Israel, death to America. Then he thought, well, maybe not death to America quite yet. I'd like to go to graduate school over there. And um, that, in the United States, he and his wife came to faith in Jesus Christ. And now they're running the leading foremost satellite television network, beaming the gospel and Bible teaching into Iran. What a great story. You're not going to get that on 60 Minutes. You will get it on the Rosenberg Report. What's the big impact of the Abraham Accords and the realignment of the Middle East? Uh, the Abraham Accords are miraculous and they're prophetic. Nobody believed uh, the Arabs were ready to make peace prior to the Palestinians, who have been incredibly intransigent, and nobody thought President Trump could do it, but he did it. And it's an answer to the millions and millions of prayers of evangelical Christians to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. It's also prophetic because Ezekiel 38 tells us that Israel will be secure, but then Russia and Iran will form an alliance to come attack us the war of Gog and Magog. We don't know if that's close, but suddenly the, the security of Israel has never been greater. I think it's uh, one of many reasons that our TBN audience is going to enjoy the Rosenberg Report. And uh, Joel, we look forward to seeing you back in the States when you can come. But in the meantime, uh, as we say, next year in Jerusalem, I'll see you there. Thank you, Governor. Wonderful. I look forward to it.
The Rosenberg Report is coming to TBN starting October the 6th. If you want more information on the show and on Joel Rosenberg, if you visit Huckabee.tv, we will get you all connected.